about uh, Expedia's biggest scam that I've encountered. Um, so as you can see here, you see April 16th to April 17th. Uh, the date today is the 8th, but it's really the 9th. So um, in, in Philippines. Now, by I have clicked the 9th to the 10th. So of course, I trust that Expedia will actually be booking for that amount. The clue that they were doing the scam, which is what they do on the uh, phone app as well, is that it's fully refund refundable for before April 12th. Um, and there's no easy way to adjust that. They don't, con well, they, I guess they confirm it here. You can't change it. Uh, The second scam is trying to get you to be alarmed. They send you a huge flag here like, oh my gosh, you're not paying us uh, money to be uh, ripped off here. But um, how does this get changed? That's the first question if you put it in. But the second question is, why is the default um, a random date weeks in the future? In other words, the default on any ethical app will be the next day, particularly if your GPS is showing that you're already there. So uh, multiple times, the, you know, this is why I'm recording this. Multiple times, Expedia has caught me with this particular trap where uh, they don't go to the hotel you're in and offer you an easy extend. There's no, like when you go to a bank and you order checks, they never send you checks with a, with a default of a number that's, you know, 380 checks higher than your last check. Um, and most of the other reservation apps, I believe, you know, default to the next day if you're already at the resort. Um, because that, that's, a, that's a reasonable default. The, the concern that I have is, first of all, they do default and they do not explicitly ask for days on the phone app. But then secondly, they will change the dates, which you have to look out for. And finally, um, minutes afterwards, when they finally clarify, okay, you're going on this date here and here, if you contact them, they will say, oh, it's completely out of our control and what that means is that Expedia does not have to pay the resort a penny because you're not going to show up there, and so they don't have to pay, you know, to to to, to pay. But you're not going to show up at some random date. You're not there, and uh, uh, it's it's. It's quite a, it's, it's quite annoying. Um, okay, so we've got that. So there, there we have the Expedia scam.